I'm depending, I'm depending on God. When Job opened his mouth, it was not to complain, it was not to whine, but when he spoke, it was to praise the Lord. And to declare his continued dependence upon the power and the will of God. I've come to tell someone today that when the Lord gives Satan permission, have a devotion with him. And then not only should you have a devotion with him, but you ought to have a dependence on him. Somebody here been walking with him a long time? Somebody here know that if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, where would you be? You, you could have been there a long time ago sleeping in your grave, but if it had not been, for the Lord who was on your side, tell me where would you be? Anybody ever been through something in your life? Anybody ever been through a storm in your life? And you know you out of it. I want to encourage somebody and tell them, depend on God. He won't let you down. Oh no, he won't let you down. He won't. He won't let you down. The reason I know because I've tried the man. And the man is alright. How many know he's alright with you tonight? Listen, listen, listen. Let me, let me share this with you. Because let, let me help you. Every trial, no matter how bad it is, is a good thing for you. Every trial, it doesn't matter how bad it is, is a good thing for you. The devil may have meant it for my bad. is always in the house, but I come to tell you today that whenever the Lord gives Satan a devotion or give him permission to attack you, you got to have some devotion to God. Not only must you have some devotion to God, but then there must be a dependence upon God. But I think I go on the clothes. Ah. By telling you that there must be a diligence before God. Yeah, and diligence before, before God is in chapter 2, verse number 8 through 10. Look what he says. He says, he says, he says, he says that he took him at posture to scrape himself with all. And he sat down among the ashes and said to his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? I mean, she was a woman that was proper. Joe, look at you, Joe. Yeah. You lost everything. You lost everything. And Joe, I want to know, after all that you've been through, yeah. look at you. You can't even have sex with me no more. Oh. Because when you get sick, ain't nothing you can do. Oh. Ain't nothing you can do, Joe. Just go on, cuss God. Yeah. And die. You know if it hadn't been you. You know if it had been your man. If it had been your dip, you would have been saying something like that. This is no good Negro. He can't do nothing for me. He's sick. He can't even get up and do nothing. He can't even wake up. I got to get it. Uh, ain't nothing you can do. Look at you. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no finances. You ain't got no friends. Because your three friends in the fast field that is over. You thought they were your friend, but they ain't your friend. Look at you, Joe. 
go. You 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 ain't got no family. Ain't nobody else uh, too. I said, right. Just go cuss God and die. Wow. Have you lost your integrity? Yeah. That's what she's saying to her husband. She said, cuss God. And then she said, pray, die. Yeah. Last thing you must do when God gives them permission. There must be a diligence before God. While it's true that men are to trust in the Lord for everything. We are still expected to do all that we can. Look at Job. Job now find himself sitting in the ash pile. Scraping his swords with a piece of broken pottery. He can't do much. But even in his valley, he's doing all that he can. Not going to tell someone, never allow your problems and your trials to cause you to quit on God. Don't let nothing separate you from the love of God. Oh, my brothers and sisters, the salmon got lost on a side road. So he told, so he stopped to ask directions from a ragged and barefooted man sitting in front of the disobligated house, this disobligated house. And after receiving the information, he needed the salmon to ask, "How is your cotton coming on?" He said, I ain't got none. Replied the farmer. So it said that the traveler continued. Did you plant any? Well, to this the man responded, no. Afraid of the weevils that were going to come and kill the plant. The visitor persisted. How is it that your corn is coming along? How is your corn coming? Didn't plant what the man says. I was afraid that it wasn't going to be any rain to harvest my corn. So unfortunately, the stranger made still another choir, inquiry saying, how are your potatoes? Again, the man replied by saying, ain't got none. Scared of the potato bugs. Someone puzzled the salmon made one final inquiry. Really, what did you plant? The answer that the man said, nothing. I just played it safe. And that sounds like a whole lot of church folk today. Ain't did nothing. You just trying to play it safe. But I notice what Job says in the text. Job says that I am sick now in my body. Ah, uh, C sharp. I, I hear Job saying. And even though I I got balls on my skin, I heard Job saying, even though I've lost, I've lost my fitness. And uh, even though I've lost my finances, yeah, uh, even though uh, I lost my, I lost my, I lost my family. Yeah, but through it all, uh, one thing that I've learned uh, is that the Lord uh, is still good. Have I got a witness here? Uh, and I come by to tell uh, somebody here today that uh, when the Lord uh, gives Satan permission, yeah, uh, he's not trying uh, to hurt you. But uh, he's trying to help you. Yeah, uh, when the Lord uh, gives Satan permission, he's not trying to destroy you, but he's trying to build you up. Yeah, uh, when the Lord uh, gives Satan permission, he's not trying to cripple you, but he's trying to crown you. Have I got a witness here? Uh, Job, Job, Job said, in all of this, I'm not going to turn my back on the Lord. Have I got a witness here? Oh, I got to leave you now. I got to say so long and fairly.
the wheel And if you love bless you Real good But I thought that I Would share with somebody In this house today To let you know That every I said every Declaration that you can tell someone. 